Okay, so now I have completed my Hyper-V uh, installation. It's always a good idea when you install a role to go and check if there are new patches for that uh, role that you've just installed. So what I've gone and done is uh, clicked on Windows Update and check for patches and there is none. On it. As you can expect, this is a beta version so there won't be many patches around yet. So the next step that I have to take is the installation of the failover clustering feature. And this is a feature, not a role. So let's close this, close my role installation wizard, and go to install features in my server manager. So I want to add a feature, select the failover clustering, and click next. And that's all that's required. You click install, wait a couple of minutes, and it will go ahead and install your failover cluster. You need to uh, repeat these steps, the Hyper-V installation and the failover cluster installation, of course, on all the nodes that you want to join the live migration cluster. The installation has succeeded. No reboot is required for installation of features, so I click close, and uh, that's pretty much it. I now have uh, the basic building blocks. So I'll stop this recording, and uh, we'll see you in the next part which will be around uh, setting up the uh, connection to the storage and building the actual cluster.